Hello, it's Simcraft here, and this is uh, part two of my Funk Up Multiplex uh, build. Uh, what we're going to do now is the, um, the towel plane. It's um, tricky to get that um, sorted, which I'll show in a minute, but I'll show you what I did in just in part, in part um, one. I was uh, setting up the servos and um, uh, putting the airframe together and now I've glued them in. You can either use um, uh, the recommended glue which is Elapor or you could use um, a hot glue. can't have it too hot or it will melt the uh, foam but uh, you can use a hot glue as well. But you can glue in the servos and uh, glue the airframe together and I've um, put the, the, um, the connectors to the elevator in that channel that strengthen it as well the elevator and rudder either side and so you've got one server that side and one servo glued in that side the other thing I did take these uh, wires so you don't get um, them stuck in the glue these look I've just taped them there so they didn't get stuck in the glue. The other thing I've done, I've um, added the, um, the connectors there and there. I've glued it there. Looks like a bit lower. I've glued it there and there for the firewall. The firewall will go on top. It's a metal firewall, which is good uh, for a heavy um, uh, motors. I've glued in the, the canopy clips either side, there and there. Um, and what else have I done? And I've used elastic bands while uh, the, the glue is set. But now we're on to the, the, the towel thing and the, the rudder. Uh, I've uh, glued on the, on the towel as you can see. Uh, the, the next part was to glue glue this first and then glue this onto the main uh, airframe glue your little um, the crevices is it um, glue that in there first and uh, connect your um, that little connector it's got the washer and the uh, a grub screw and uh, a nut a tiny little nut a washer this little part here and that's where this will be going and I'll be tightening up that later and the grub screw. Now we're on to the, the rudder. Um, I thought I'd show you this because it's tricky to understand um, the, the diagram. I'll do a close up. If you can see, if you can get that bit there, already add that in. That's got the grub screw again and the little uh, nut and the little washer. It's best to just put that in there first into the rudder. Just do a dry run so you can understand how it works. That's got a slot in there. And that little, there's a tiny little hole there. I don't know if you can see that. That is, you'll have a straight bit there. So can you see that? And then the wheel, the wheel, if I can get it there quickly, will slide onto there. So you can see it's not, um, uh, just show you slowly so you can understand the, that bit there has got to be bent as tightly as you can to this plastic uh, connector. So I'll bend that like that and then I'll glue it into place. And then this bit here will go into the, the back of the airplane where the, the, uh, the tail is. You can see it's got to go into there. And do that good angle that will slide into there 
there's a little slot there, you might have to cut out a little bit for it to start to go in. That will go into there and then you'll glue the top bit, the top bit will go there, I'll push this elastic band back, that should slot into there, that should slot into there and then glue that into place. But the tricky bit to understand was was just to get that um, the little wheel. If I take it apart, so you can understand, there's the 90 degrees. This is how it comes. The bit that you'll have to do is put that on first, then that on second through that little hole there. This bit will go into the uh, uh, actually the rudder. That's the rudder bit, and this bit goes into the airframe. And then all you do now is, if you press them down nice and tight, probably you have to use little pliers, I think. But they said as tightly as you can, and then you you bend that wire to secure it. Ooh, if I can hold it right, get it about. Mm. Well, that's got to go back like that. Get that like in straight. See the wheel straight. Wheel there. That goes into the rudder. That goes into the airframe. The airframe's coming off here, and then you bend this round like that. Well, not like that. So I'm going to have to concentrate for a bit. That's got to there and then bend it flat so it uh, lies along that um, that uh, connector it shows that on the thing, it shows a few diagrams actually of it there there's where the, that's where the wheel goes that goes into the frame that goes into the um, rudder and there should be a picture of it. Yeah, there you go, look. It starts off straight like this. That's my time up now. It starts off straight like that. Just bend it round so it's flat on there and then glue it all into place. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do next. Uh, see you in part three. Uh, we'll be going on to the wings, I think, next. Okay, bye for a bit. Bye.